Google, right? Hi guys, Matt here. Welcome to my next Matt unboxing. A bit faster than I actually supposed it would be. Um, so today we have a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, this. Another Rarity tin box. As I, I believe I announced already, I got another one of these. And um, the guy who shipped it to me and who sold it to me, um, seller is Chris61199 on eBay. He put it in double bubble wrap and then uh, shipped it to me. So this is as safe as it could be, you know? Double bubble wrap, if you don't throw something from the roof, double bubble wrap is enough to, uh, you know, preserve anything. And still, it is dented here and um, it has slight scratches. So you will not get these in a pristine condition simply because of the shops that, who sold it, or sold it or sell it, and because of the flimsy, flimsy plastic packaging. You know, if it had the plastic packaging of a Luna box, this would be pristinely preserved. It's not, so that's still basically the main issue with these boxes. And as you can see, it's really dented down here. I don't know if you can see that this is you see that this is, this is a skating wing it's not the box wall but let's open it up see that here you see that you see the dent here goodness gracious no here you see that I mean and metal never bends back to the original position unless this memory metal so Postal services, man, not good for shipping, which is ironic because it's those who ship. Yeah, it will always be a play thing here. So, we've got the poster, as usual. We've got the sticker, as usual. We've got the rarity promo, also as usual. Um, promo card over here. We have the boosters, and that's it. So, and this one here again. Booster, one trading card value pack, and uh, three premier boosters. So let's check the value pack first. I mean the three boosters, if they buy them in Germany, it's four bucks each. So that's 12 bucks alone for the boosters. We got a King Sombra. A Vinyl Funtat. I don't think I have that one. We've got a puzzle piece of the Phillies. So you can see the pink amino down there. We've got Starswell the Bearded's book. I don't have that either, I believe. And Stairmaster, I do have that one. So let's check the boosters. You know, these boosters, Premier Boosters, they have cards in them, uncommons even, that I really need more. So I'm okay with that. Amethyst, Star, Flitter, Bunny Stampede, Apple Cobbler, Fighting for Friendship, Mint Jewel Up, Monster of a Minotaur, the rare is a Carousel Boutique, and there is a Foil Rare Straighten Up and Fly Right in here. Then we have Too Much Pie, May the Best Pet Win, and Finish Line as the Uncommons. So, not bad. Where and for where, I mean, can't complain too loudly about that. So, 
So the second one, while guidance, comet tail, monitor everything, noteworthy, blue moon, hungry hungry caterpillars, cerulean skies, purple pile sprites, the way it's a cloud chaser. I drew a cloud chaser. That is good. That is really good. Drawing a cloud chaser is really good. I mean, this card, I, it's not as much worth as it was, but it's still six or seven bucks, euro. So this is good. This is really good. And yet again, a rarity tin comes through to me. For me, that is really fun. Emergency dress over there. Critter cavalry. And one away card. So another rarity tin is trying to get the money back on the boosters for me. And it's, it's. I'm surprised these rarity tins are really good for me. I, I like that. So, and let's see. Third booster, final booster, rising star, not enough pinky pies, jet stream, all heart, bomb parasite, sugar twist, dance fever, kitchen of flambe, sweetie sunrise, the rare is a gotta go fast. And we have the Fluttershy Animal Team. Marvelous Chapeau. And let's get this party started as a uncommon. And the let's get this party started is one of those where I'm really strapped for. I really need more of those. And I'm very glad for that. But um, this one is the card that I wanted, really. Well, if I don't draw a rarity, um, truly outrageous in a rarity tin, which is very unlikely because it's an ultra rare and it's the best ultra rare of them all. Um, I don't expect that much luck, but I'm very happy for a Cloud Chaser Flexible Flyer. That is really good. Really good. So, satisfying. Really satisfying. So, I wanted to use this video since I don't have more than one box to open to present you some other stuff that I bought from the Brony fandom or around the Brony fandom or official merchandise actually and the first one would be this I don't know if you have seen it in the background of videos so far this box this box it's the Daring Do novel collection um, a Daring Do Adventure Connection by A.K. Yearling. Yes, of course. And that is, of course, A.K. Yearling. Um, the box is really nice. I, I, I like it. It's completely paper. And these are, like, these are foiled. But, um, you know, there's a foil over it. Um, but then they're, they're, they're part of the original design. So they're not tagged on they're part of the design and just foiled over and uh, the smile little pony as well this logo you know so um if you can uh, see it's it's like a nice treasure chest the same treasure chest as you can see in the um we did or sleep episode and um if you open it up you see it's really like a little chest you know see the little straps here and inside here and we've got the three books. The three books are this one, Daring Do and the Marked Thief of Marapore. You can see. And uh, this is uh, this is print. Is I, I like it. It's, it's a stable book and everything. It's it's uh, f uh, feels good to hold it, and it's a uh, G M Barrow. Who wrote this? And uh, this is only one of two, four, six, eight, ten AK yearling books, you know. Daring Do and the Mark Thief of Mayapur. Then we have uh, Daring Do and the Eternal Flower, where uh, her husband to be is in the background, Arizotl. Here he is. And um, yes, of course, it's still by GM Barrow. That's of course. Uh, and the third one 
is uh, Daring Do and the Forbidden City of Clouds. This one with um, what's his name? Um, Caballeron. Caballero, with Caballero, yeah, that's him. Um, and it's also, it's 18 chapters, actually. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's still ten books. Um, but I think this one has one less book of the other books by A.K. Young. So this is printed, of course, rather big because they're children's books. And, uh, you know, it's more comfortable to read for them. Simple as it is. And uh, yeah, these are the three books inside. And the fourth thing inside is this box. This one. Yeah. See, it's it's a nice little. It's a, it's like a book without anything in it. You know. See that this box. There was something in it though, and I already took it out and put it on my um, here in my cupboard. Um. So uh, you can see this is it's this one. It's this little daring you figurine. See that? This little daring you figurine. She was in here. You know, and she is now uh, on my mantelpiece as well. So uh, that's where she belongs. <sighs> and uh, that's that. And um, yeah, and then I wanted to show you something that you have to buy. Not only if you are at the, if you were at the Galacom, but you have to buy it. It's this one. Pennywise Academy. Buy this book. Um, it's by Emily Larson, who is known as a writer for um, My Little Pony, but it tells a story within um, the fairy tale world, like he describes it. You know, it's basically like a uh, DreamWorks picture, like the Shrek movies. It's like this world, you know, and that's that's this book. And it has a uh, strong uh, female princess. It is, um, and many princesses actually in them. And it's uh, the Pennywise Academy is where princesses go to learn and fend for themselves. And the, <laughs> uh, you know, the comment back here is from Wee vs. Food. So that's also rather awesome. So um, yeah, Pennywise Academy, buy this book, have to buy it, you know, if you are in any way affiliated with the fandom you have to buy it there is no alternative i'm not kidding you on this one if you don't have this book you have to get this book you know there is no way around it none this you you have to get it period that's it okay so buy this book okay yeah. um and the last thing i wanted to st uh, show you is this It is a little Mod Pie and Boulder figurine. I bought this from Shapeways and uh, it was made, designed by um, Death Pony, Death Pony on um, DeviantArt. And uh, I know him from the Galacon. And he designed this after I said that I want a Mod Pie figurine, he designed this. So, of course, I bought it. There is, there, I mean, I requested it. I had to buy it. She looks absolutely fabulous. The colors are spot on. Um, she has that bland expression. She has that very beautiful stylish dress. The absolutely lovely haircut. Um, the over enthusiastic boulder who loves to be with you. And this figurine shows that the um, Death Pony figurines of Shapeways are absolutely top-notch. This is great. This is a lovely figurine. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger in size than the Daring Do figurine. It really fits with the usual fun pack figurines, which you can see up there. It really fits into them. A little bit taller, but you know, Mod Pie is just a little bit more awesome. So that's just how she should be. And um, really, really satisfied with this one. Love to have it. Enjoying it having it on there and uh, this 
you should uh, you know if you if you love the figurines if you if you love um uh, having little figurines this is a 3d model sandstone and um yeah this is uh absolutely it, it's it's a lovely thing you should if you you should take a look at shapeways of a ponies there and really check if you want one of those because they are quite pricey but worth it this is a work of art and it's quite cheap for that i believe you know it's it's lovely will be with me will be with me forever so that's the third one so um that concludes my video i am uh, very glad to have shown you this i'm very happy with the result of the tin box even though it was slightly dented slightly is good it's quite dented um the card in it was awesome so <laughs> i'm i'm satisfied i'm really satisfied i got my rarity promo i got a um cloud chase a flexible fly yes you know yes everything is awesome and um yeah i hope uh, you enjoyed this i hope this is uh was informative for you again and we gonna see each other when we see each other and have something else to unpack so bye <laughs>